transport in Iran is inexpensive because of the government's subsidization of the price of gasoline. The downside is a huge draw on government coffers, economic inefficiency because of highly wasteful consumption patterns contraband with neighboring countries and air pollution. In 2008, more than 1 million people worked in the transportation sector, accounting for 9% of GDP. Iran has a long paved road system linking most of its towns and all of its cities. In 2011 the country had 173,000 kilometers of roads, of which 73% were paved. In 2008 there were nearly 100 passenger cars for every 1,000 inhabitants. Trains operated on 11,106 kilometers of railroad track. The country's major port of entry is Bandar Abbas on the Strait of Hormuz. After arriving in Iran, imported goods are distributed throughout the country by trucks and freight trains. The Tehran Bandar Abbas Railroad, opened in 1995, connects Bandar Abbas to the railroad system of Central Asia via Tehran ANDC Mashhad. Other major ports include Bandari Anzali and Bandari Turkmen on the Caspian Sea in Khorramshahr and Bandari Imam Khomeini on the Persian Gulf. Dozens of cities have airports that serve passenger and cargo planes. Iran Air, the national airline, was founded in 1962 and operates domestic and international flights. All large cities have mass transit systems using buses, and several private companies provide bus service between cities. Tehran, Mashhad, Shiraz, Tabriz, Awaz and Esfahan are in the process of constructing underground mass transit rail lines. Ministry of Road and Transportation The Ministry of Roads and Transportation is in charge of studying and deciding pricing policy of the transportation, as well as issuing licenses for the establishment of transportation firms. In addition, the Ministry is in charge of implementing comprehensive and integrated transportation policies in Iran. Railways Total 11,106 km standard gauge 8,273 kilometers of 1,435 millimeters gauge broad gauge, 94 kilometers of 1,676 millimeters gauge. Electrified railway is 146 kilometers from Tabriz to Jolfa and the tender for electrification of Tehran Mashhad has been finished according to railway. Electrification in Iran. Note. Broad gauge track is employed at the borders with Azerbaijan Republic and Turkmenistan which have 1,520 mm broad gauge rail systems, 41 km of the standard gauge. Electrified track is in suburban service at Tehran. The majority of transportation in Iran is road-based. The government plans to transport 3.5% of the passenger volume and 8.5% of the freight volume by rail. Extensive electrification is planned. The railway network expands by about 500 km per year according to the Ministry of R&T. Railway links with adjacent countries In December 2014 a rail line from Iran opened to Turkmenistan and Kazakhstan. The opening of the line marks the first direct rail link between Iran. Kazakhstan and China and upon completion of the Marmarai Rail Project's direct rail transport between China and Europe will be possible. Afghanistan Planned Azerbaijan Break of gauge 1,435 mm 1,520 mm Armenia Planned Break of gauge 1,435 mm 1,520 mm Iraq part under construction, part planned. One long link from Arak via Kamanshah to Baghdad. One short link of about 50 km links Khorramshah to Basra and is due for completion in 2006. Pakistan break of gauge 1,435 mm, 1,676 mm, missing link from Bam to Zaid and completed 2009. Turkey, via Lake Van, train ferry 1,435 mm, 
Turkmenistan, break of gauge 1435mm, 1520mm. Couplings, brakes and electrification couplers, SA3 and buffers. Brakes, air, electrification 25 kV AC. Metro, city with underground railway system, Tehran Metro, along with extension work on the Tehran Metro, six other metro projects are being built. In total, 172 extra kilometers will be built in Tehran between now and 2012 and over 380 kilometers in the other cities. All these work sites are going at present. Other cities with plans to construct a metro, Mashhad Light Rail Isfahan Metro Shiraz Metro Tabriz Metro Arvaz Metro Karaj Metro, Roadways and Automobiles. Total, 172,927 kilometers. Paved, 125,908 kilometers. Unpaved, 47,019 kilometers. Note, there were more than 11 million vehicles in Iran by 2010 mostly manufactured or assembled locally. As of 2015, 34,000 kilometers of roads provided essential corridors of transportation, while 45,000 kilometers of major roads and 100,000 kilometers of roads connecting villages and rural areas have seen no maintenance and upkeep practices. Road accidents Iran ranks 23D worldwide in traffic deaths per 100,000 population per year, with a rate of 24.3, half the rate of the worst country. Eritrea, Iran ranks first worldwide in terms of having the largest number of road accidents with 38,000 deaths and injuries per year. Other sources place the total number of fatalities at 100,000 over the past six years or 20,000 per year on average. Transport officials say 46.8% of car accidents take place in cities, 21.5% outside, 19.5% on rural routes, 4.2% on urban highways and 4.2% on suburban highways. The high death tolls in car accidents are blamed on high-speed, unsafe vehicles, widespread disregard of traffic laws and inadequate emergency services. Motorcycles account for 50% of sound pollution in Tehran and 40-45% to of accidents. Waterways, 850 km note. The Shat Al Arab is usually navigable by maritime traffic for about 130 km. Channel has been dredged to 3 meters and is in use. Pipelines. Condensate 7 km, condensate, gas 12 km, gas 19,246 km, liquid, petroleum gas 570 km, oil 7,018 km, refined product 7,936 km. Iran is currently undergoing negotiations with neighboring Pakistan for the construction of an oil and gas pipeline to that country to help integrate their respective economies and solve the energy shortage being faced by Pakistan, ports and harbors. The capacity of container loading and unloading in the country's ports is currently at 4.4 million which will increase to 7 million by the end of 2015. Port capacity will increase to 200 million tons in 2015 from 150 million tons in 2010. All ports Abadan, Arvaz, Bandar Abbas, Bandari Nzali, Bushair, Bandari Imam Khomeini, Bandari Lenga, Bandari Marshar, Bandari Torkaman, Shibaha, Karg Island, Lavain Island, Siri Island, Koram Shah, No Shah, Arvand Kenar, Main, Isalu Yair, Bandar Abbas, Bandari Iman Khomeini Bandar Abbas is in southern Iran and handles 90% of the country's container throughput. Major export terminals. Karg Island 5 million barrels, D. Lavain Island 200,000 barrels, D. Necker 50,000 barrels, D. Asalu Yer 250,000 barrels, D. Gas Liquids, Kish Island, Abadan and Bandar Marsha, Major Oil, Gas Ports, Karg Island, 
is the largest and main export terminal in Iran. Roughly 90% of Iran's exports are sent via CARG. CARG's loading system has a capacity of 5.0 million BBL. D. The terminal processes all onshore production and offshore production from the frozen field. The CARG terminal includes the main T jetty, the sea island that is located on the west side of CARG, and the Daruish terminal to the south. CARG Island relies on storage to ensure even operations and its current storage capacity is expected to increase to 28 million barrels of oil in 2014. Lavain Island mostly handles exports of the Lavan blend sourced from offshore fields. Lavan is Iran's highest quality export grade and one of Iran's smallest streams. Lavan's production averaged less than 100,000 barrels d in 2013, but the Lavan facilities have the capacity to process 200,000 barrels d of crude oil. Lavan has a two-berth jetty, which can accommodate vessels up to 250,000 dead weight tons. Lavan's storage capacity is 5.5 million barrels. Siri Island serves as a loading port for the Siri blend that is produced in the offshore fields of the same name. The Siri terminal includes a loading platform equipped with four loading arms that can load tankers from 80,000 to 330,000 dead weight tons. Its storage capacity is 4.5 million barrels. Raspargan Merchant Marine Total 76 By Type Bull Carrier 8, Cargo 51, Chemical Tanker 3, Container 4, Liquefied Gas 1, Passenger, Cargo 3, Petroleum Tanker 2, Refrigerated Cargo 2, Roll On, Roll Off 2, Foreign Owned, 2, Registered in Other Countries, 71, Shipping Freight Exports will grow by an average of 5.3% a year in the 2009 to 2013. Over the next two decades, Iran would need 500 new ships, including 120 oil tankers, 40 liquefied natural gas carriers and over 300 commercial vessels, airports and airlines. Iran's airports are improving their international connections and Arat Airport in Markazi province has recently begun to operate international flights, making a total of five such airports in the country, in addition to ten local airports. In May 2007 international flights into the capital, Tehran, were moved to the Imam Khomeini International Airport, just outside the city because of capacity constraints at the existing central Meribad Airport. Airports 319. There are 54 major airports in Iran, 8 international, 21 air border, and 25 domestic. Number of flights from airports nationwide reached 31,088 in a month, 10,510 domestic, 4,229 international and 15,404 transit. Airport capacity for departures and arrivals. 73 million persons. Number of passengers departing and arriving at airports. 40.1 million persons. Share of non-public sector in domestic flights. 60%. Share of non-public sector in international flights. 58.7%. National Airline. Iran Air. Airports with paved runways total. 140 over 3,047 meters, 42 2,438 to 3,047 meters, 29 1,524 to 2,437 meters, 26,914 to 1,523 meters, 36 under 914 meters. Seven airports with unpaved runways total, 179 over 3,047 meters, 1 1,524 to 2,437 meters, 2,914 to 1,523 meters, 135 under 914 meters, 32 heliports total, 26 transit statistics. 
people in 2011, some 27 million travelers and businessmen passed custom departments. Over 5 million passengers have been transported via border points mainly Marana Bazargan. In 2002, about 70% of visitors arrived by land, about 29% by air and less than 1% by sea. Commodities in 2011, cargoes and commodities from 100 countries have been transited across Iran. Over 10.5 million tons of oil products and non-oil commodities were transited via land and marine borders. In 2010, 10 million tons of commodities from 110 countries, worth $31.5 billion, transited through Iran for 82 destinations. In 2009, the value of goods transited was about $25 billion. This figure constitutes 7% of the GDP. From March 22, 2009 until September 22, 2009 over 3 million tons of goods worth some $11.3 billion were transited through Iran. Regarding the countries of origin, China was first in terms of volume, Turkmenistan ranked second, Uzbekistan came third, Turkey fourth and UAE fifth. Among the destinations, Afghanistan was first, Iraq second, Azerbaijan third, UAE fourth and Turkmenistan ranked fifth. Some 33 million tons of goods and 29 million passengers are transported annually by the rail transportation network, accounting for 9% and 11% of the whole transportations in the country. Per capita parcel post for each Iranian stands at 15 per annum. 1 million tons of commodities, fuel and barter have been transited abroad per month. Fuel is transported in Iran by road tankers, tank wagons, tanker ships as well as through pipelines. Nearly 10,000 tankers from 400 private sector companies transport fuel by road. In 2013, nearly 87 billion litres of fuel were transported by Iranian tankers. Iran's tank wagons and ships transported 3 billion litres and 8 billion litres of fuel, respectively. 3.498 million tons of non-oil commodities were transited abroad via Iran during March 20, November 20, 2008. Mode of transport More than 90% of the country's imports and exports, particularly in the fisheries and oil sectors, are undertaken through the sea. In 2008, 84% of the transited goods through Iran were transported through roads while the rest was transported via railroad. Port of entry In 2011, Bandar Abbas was the country's most active border in terms of transit, followed by Parvis Khan, Bazargan and Bashmak. In 2008, some 24 border crossings except Kiler in Sardasht and Yazdan in southern Khorasan were active nationwide. Bandar Abbas, contributing 40.8% of transit operations, was considered the most dynamic in terms of transients cargo. It was followed by Bizargan, Sarix, Bandar Anzali and Pilar Sava. Economics Every ton of transit cargo earns $150 for the country and creates 40 jobs. Iran will earn a revenue of US$12 billion United States dollars when the volume of goods transported through the country reaches 40 million tons annually. TRACECA In September 2009, Iran formally joined the Transport Corridor Europe Caucasus Asia Program, also known as the New Silk Road. TRACECA was founded in 1998 with the aim of promoting economic relations, trade and transport communications between Europe, the Caucasus and Asia. This program consists of the EU and 14 member states from Eastern Europe and the Caucasus. Iran's strategic location means that it is a key transport corridor between Europe and Central Asia. In August 2010, Iran declared that it did not sign on to TRACECA project and said it has been fostering improved transport links through a series of bilateral agreements with neighboring states instead. According to Iran's first vice president Mohammad Reza Rahimi, if all the potential of the country's transit sector is tapped, 
It can bring in as much revenues as the oil industry. He also announced that Iran will join China and Europe by rail in the near future.